Hey people, welcome back to Wedding's Book List. So I'm here to film my recommendation video for the Readathon. Uh, Black Authors Readathon is going to be taking place in the month of February from the 1st until the 27th. And I'm here to give you some suggestions. Now listen, I'm going to read all the prompts to you about all for the bingo card because there's a bingo card that goes along with the readathon. Uh, I'm going to read all the prompts to you and then I'm going to help you out with some suggestions because I got you. Your girl's here for you, okay? Okay? Again, this you should have seen the announcement. This is just a continuation of that announcement and giving you some recommendations. Give me just a second. All right, so as you see, the bingo card is somewhere on this screen, and we're going to start just reading the prompts. And I'm going to, and after I read the prompts, I'm going to give you guys a whole bunch of suggestions. Okay, so the first prompt is vlog slash post a TBR. The second one is uh, read a novella. Workplace romance is next. Age gap romance. Childhood to grown folk romance. Uh, historical romance, rock star romance, friend group series, romantic suspense, re realistic con contemporary, contemporary, there we go, Fanny, fantasy slash paranormal, fake dating romance, free space, friends to lovers, enemies to lovers, second chance, uh, new to you black author, single parent romance, Sport romance, interracial romance, uh, romance graphic novel, vlog slash share in stories, a day reading challenge. Next is the forbidden slash taboo slash dark romance. Uh, next is mature romance. And then last prompt is to post slash vlog a wrap up. So yeah, there's a there's 24 prompts. And out of those 24 prompts, I say about 19 of them are reading prompts. And your girl has, I think I've, I've, let's see, let's see, I got one, two, three, I think there should be four. There are four prompts I did not give you suggestions for. So your girl's going to give you some suggestion. Now, the biggest suggestion I'm going to give you is if you can only read so many books in the month of February because you're trying to just be a part of the readathon and yeah, be a part of it with us, I would suggest for you to just pick one line of of prompts that you already have or you can do and just go with that 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 uh that line of prompts and do them. Now listen, this because there are prizes, I want to say this this whole thing is supposed to be friendly. So please don't get yourself overworked. Don't don't stress yourself about it too much. We just are doing this because we want to introduce new we want to introduce rom uh, romance authors who are are black. We just want to highlight them. And so if you can't, that is my stomach. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, blessed Jesus. If you, if you can't participate in all the prompts and you just want to do it sporadically, just join us. I joined the live show at the end of the month, but I'm going to, I'm going to try to help you. So my biggest thing is this. Listen, I am a quick reader, but your girl got a little girl. I got a little girl and I got a job and I got a husband and I got a house that I got to keep clean. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Now with all that being said, how in the world could I read 19 prompts in the month of February to potentially be entered in to win prizes even more, right? I got you. You know how you do it? Novellas. Novellas. Now listen, I'm, most of my suggestions, I want to say about 75% of the books that are on this in my list are all novellas. You are not cheating. You are just reading to at you're re reading what you can. Most of them are uh, are one novellas, and most of them are on Kindle Unlimited. So if you have Kindle Unlimited, you're not reading anything additional. No, when I when I say additional, no additional expense to you to go grab these books. Some of them are on Scrib. Um, if you have Scrib, you you can get over there, and you know, okay. You're good over there. Next, of course, would be uh, Audible. Audible has a lot of these. If you have Audible, um, even if you don't have Kindle Unlimited, 
Kindle, most of these books are between the price range right now. It may be different in February. I'm, I'm filming this in January. Uh, are between no more than 15 to about 99 cents. So if you can grab a few books between that, if you got the funds to spend, you know, between 99 cents to $15, you're covered with this list too. I promise you, I wouldn't lead you astray on purpose. Let me say, let me say that. All right. So let's get into some of these prompts. Workplace romance. I read this book in my romance overload challenge I did to myself and it's called The Slow News Day. And this is by uh, Danielle Adam. Ellen, Ellen, Danielle Allen. It is a novella and it is about um, Milan and Sean and they work in broadcasting and it is, they, they are covering the Groundhog Day that happens. In Cute little, it's about 50 pages, 50, 60 pages. Um, so yeah, it's a cute little quick romance and their colleagues who have been eyeing each other for a minute and then they just take the plunge on Groundhog Day, okay? Um, also, warning, let me just put this warning here. I read romance with a lot of spice, meaning that there is sex involved. So if you're looking for something tamer, you might want to check the other girl's recommendations because all mine gonna have sex in it. Every single book on here got sex in it somebody's getting the goods okay i wanted to say something else but i was like you should probably be a little classy all right so <laughs> next age gap i'm reading a book actually this book i initially tried to read it in 2020 2020 um it was on kindle unlimited i got rid of kindle unlimited and then i got it again and i'm going to also be reading it with you i know about it because i started reading it and i liked it but I didn't want to pay for it. But then I wound up buying it anyway. Don't judge me. It is called The Taste of Her Own Medicine. <laughs> it's by Tasha Harrison. Um, yeah, so the premise of this is, I'm not, I don't remember everybody's name and I gotta fly through these recommendations as quick as possible. Uh, so the quick, um, quick synopsis is there's a woman who's, going, who's finished finalizing her divorce and she's an older woman and she's taking a class from a younger guy who's a tech guy and they just start feeling each other okay there we go so we're gonna be reading that together okay okay so then we have from childhood to grown folk romance and i picked ready set love by um who's this by sorry asia monique and you have isabel thomas and you have carter hayes and they are childhood friends who were just friends and became business partners because they're both in the medical industry and then something happens and they decide to start dating i also read this in romance overload uh historical romance i have not read anything by miss beverly beverly jenkins but i am suggesting her she has a whole series of books about um, romances that happened during save, slavery times and then right after slavery. I think most of them are directly right after slavery, like uh, that period where they were, uh, the period in time where uh, African Americans were trying to discover their, free, their freedoms and also still fight injustices and also like just be humans. And, and I, she, she's done an amazing thing by filling that gap of that time with all the like, you know horrible things that were happening there were so people falling in love and so i'm excited to also explore that myself um but yeah she's a great recommendation beverly jenkins is the goat of um black romance authors that write just and i i am not gonna lie i've read some, some synopsis of her book but she We'll talk about it in another video. But yeah, that's my suggestion. Next is uh, Black Rockstar Romance. Uh, I just finished this book. The book is called the Rock the Curves. And this is by Twyla Turner. Um, it's under 300 pages. So that's why I'm rec rec recommend recommending it. Jeez, talk much. Anyway, uh, the two main characters are Gage and the female character, her name is Lyris. And basically, Gage is Portuguese. No, he's Brazilian. Sorry, he's Brazilian, and uh, Lyris is black, and she is 
I like she's a songstress and she has an amazing take on music. She wants to sing rock soul and she comes from a religious background and uh, Gage also comes from, he comes from a, a different background, but he's, it's quite an interesting story, these two. And yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so give it a read. Next up is, uh, the prompt is a friend group series. Now you probably won't be able to read all three of these books in this series, but, uh, I would suggest to read one of them and it is called, um, it's called the In Stiletto series. And the first book is called Sexy In Stiletto. Second one is called um, Sultry In Stilettos. The last one is called Sassy In Stilettos. And all of the main female characters are African-American women. Um, and there are some interracial. And I think there, yeah, I think there's a lot. I think there's a guy who's white, one who's from the Middle East. And then I believe the last one, actually, I think there's two white guys and one from the Middle East. This, this book series is by, uh, Naima. I always, is it, is it Nene or Nana? I don't, Nana Malone. I think it's Nana Malone. Um, I'm actually following her on Instagram. I should probably pronounce her name right. This sounds very rude for me not to pronounce her name right. Anyway, with that being said, I did read these series. These three girls are friends and they buy a pair of shoes and they each wear them like I guess a year. I don't, I never focus on the time frame they were wearing the shoes because the romance and the story around the romance was very intriguing and I really liked it. So yes, give them a read. You might like them. Next is, uh, the for me, is Realistic Contemporary. And I chose a book by Alexandra Warren called Replacement yeah replacement a building that is the name of the title it's called a replacement building for I think it's called the 402 series and the um is the particular book I read was called book or it was called replacement um in building 402 um this is by again by Alex Alexa Alexandria Warren and this takes place at building 402 between Larson Hill and um, Angelica Pearson. Angelica is an executive of some sort and Larson is just getting out of prison and the reason he went to prison is probably one of the most noble friggin reasons ever and I wanted to say that because I don't want people to think he went to prison for something nefarious. Um, he went to prison for a very noble cause and he is just a stand up guy. And Angelica is my least favorite character in this book, but everybody deserves love. So thank God for people like Larson for loving chicks like her. Anyway, <laughs> next is fantasy slash paranormal. And I picked, although and I said this in my romance overload, this book is technically a porn. I like it is straight. It you hit the ground running with the sex. So I'm gonna warn you with that. So that is that is I'm just gonna warn you. Okay, I'm just I can't say it any more than that. Uh, um, uh, and this is by Zen Wen Zena Wen, and it is 50 pages of goodness. And there is romance because the story does wind up leading you back to the point that although the story has a lot of sex in it, it starts from a place of someone actually having feelings with another person for another person and yeah there's a werewolf in it i mean i don't know what else you want me to say about that okay all right so then of course i that's less than 250 pages it's not technically a novella but it's less than 250 pages fake dating i went with atlas by betty banks and this is the story of atlas and violet atlas is a russian mobster already intrigued like listen just get comfortable you hear russian mobster okay i'm just picking i don't really know any russian mobsters anyway <laughs> russian mobster who falls for a young lady by the name of violet who is coming out of a like a horrible relationship with her ex-husband who's left her with all of his debts and uh atlas needs to get married to stay in america because he only has a green card so he needs to get married and he is disgustingly wealthy and so he decides to marry violet for um some reason 
This story Friends the Lovers. I would suggest, even though it is technically a Christmas book, it is a book by uh, Talia Hilbert, who just came out. It is technically only on Kobo. So the reading uh, platform, Kobo, it's called um, Ra- Wrapped Up in You. Um, it is about two friends who, two people who become, who are childhood friends. One goes off to become a movie star and he doesn't know that his, his and he has a thing for his childhood, his younger, he has a thing for his, his friend's sister and he comes back to England or London to basically be like, look, I'm, I'm giving it all up for you. And I've care for you but she has a bunch of trust issues so much so that I wanted to fight her I'm like look here they she they basically described they she tell you tell you Hilbert basically described what's his name Henry Koval yes she basically described him and this woman is constantly like I can't trust that you want me I don't give a damn if you really want me the fact that you came back you're willing to give up everything for me and you boy you would you yeah okay listen Mm. I would at least okay all right again I need to be I need to be a little bit uh, respectful okay (laughs) next second chance and I'm going to suggest a novel by the author um, Ste- well, her name is Stephanie Nicole Knowles and this is a novella and it's called If 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 I Could Stay um, and this is by Car- about Carmen and Dominique. Now I'm actually going to be reading this too. I did read several books by Stephanie um, Knowles before so I enjoyed it but so this one in particular is definitely about a second chance romance so I, I really for sure want to read it too but I'm also suggesting it so it's a yeah. So next is Single Parent. This book is by Christina C. Jones and is called A Hint of Spice. This book is a novella and it's very short, but everything in it is amazing. Everything from the character's backstory, like the main character, her name is Cinnamon. And uh, her love interest in this book, I forget his first name, but anyway, just... It's just the whole story is just very, very sweet. And um, I enjoy this, the standpoint of like it talks about exotic dancers and not a way in which they are in some way broken. I like it. Even though it's a short book, it does take on that topic very briefly. And I enjoyed that part of it, too. All right. So then uh, sports romance. Uh, I went with Alexa Martin. She has a whole series. She has, um, what is it called? Um, Interception. Uh, oh my God. You know, you know, you know her whole series. Oh my God. I can't. Her last book is coming out now. It's called Snap. So anything by Alexa Martin. She has a whole series. Um, Yes, yeah, like four books now. There's three books that are out. The fourth one is called Snap. Racial Dating was another prompt. And I went with Jasmine Gullery, her first book, uh, The Wedding Date. Her second book, The Proposal. Now, it, interracial dating books by Jasmine Gullery. You have <laughs> you have The Wedding Date, The Proposal. I'm going to put it on there. Um, and then you have uh, Table for Two. Her third book, uh, which was called... Wedding Party is a black couple, but that book is amazing, too. You should read that, too. Um, And technically, that's a friend group series, too. So you can read it for that reason, too. Um, Next up was... I think that's the... Oh, uh, New to You author. Now, she isn't a new to me author right now, but she was last year. And that is Ashley Nicole. Anything by Ashley Nicole is going to have you giggle, okay? You're going to laugh out loud and you're going to... Listen, Ashley Nicole speaks to my soul, okay? Now, one thing I have to say is she is... Her books are extremely real, real. Like They're just real. I'll talk about that in a minute. Ashley Nicole, but a new author to me really is a be love. I'll be reading her this um, for my TBR. I'll, she'll be on my TBR. Be Love is new to me. So, uh, so yeah. And the books I would suggest from Ashley Nicole, again, anything 
but the uh heart sisters that is that that series is still probably my favorite from my overall reads out uh take away from my romance my romance overload rita challenge that i did so the last couple prompts of course are the ones where you post and all that kind of stuff in the free space so there are some prompts i didn't cover like i didn't cover mature romance because i don't have any suggestions i don't think i've read any so i'm going to be looking for some of those for myself lovers uh, fr uh enemies to lovers i don't have any suggestions so i'm going to be looking for those and then romantic suspense again i'm going to be re looking for that too uh let's see in a graphic novel i'm really going to be looking for that one i cannot wait until someone suggests that because i'll be watching videos and grabbing one of those for myself all right so one thing a few things i want to talk about before i let this go and i know this is a long video so if you made it to this to this point you a real one um i will probably put this at the beginning of the video too when black authors write some of them or again just how do i say this i am not warning you i'm just i guess i am warning you no because like a warning is like be i guess i don't know what i want to say is this the great thing about this readathon is the fact that you're going to see what black people have been saying for a long time and that is that the black experience is not a monolith and that it is it is very different for various people so with that being said there are some of the people that i have acknowledged on my list that use the n-word in their writing because it is authentic to who they are is authentic to their experience as a black person using the word in a way that is not detrimental to black people and is a commonplace word so you should be aware of that i'm not warning you because there's nothing to warn you against when black people are using that word in their friendship now listen just like someone who i respect with all my heart stephanie stephanie does not enjoy that word just being dropped in and i respect that because i understand that there's words that trigger us in different ways and she and i have talked we've had We've had a few conversations about this. We respect each other's opinion. I do use that word in my friend group and in my family group. And like I said before, it doesn't offend me because I know I know the intent and the purpose of it being used. There's some people who don't use it, who are black. There's some people who do. There are some authors who do use these words and in their books because it's authentic to their experience. So I'm making you aware of that because... I don't want anyone to read these books and be like, oh my God, oh my God. They just, all the books that, you know, Monique uh, suggested all had the N word in them. Well, first of all, not all of them, a lot of them, a few of them. But <laughs> I think you need to understand that that's authentic to the black experience. And that is the freaking wonderful thing about this readathon is you hopefully will read and understand the vastness of the black experience. Maybe not. I mean, I don't think all of these play, take place in America. I think some of them take place in Europe and other places. So just be aware that that is a thing because that is a thing. Um, I'm not going to keep explaining that. I'm not going to over explain it. But for now, I'm going to leave you. I thank you again. Don't forget the readathon is 27 days. And uh, again, if you don't think you can read full length novels, pick up some novellas. I'm telling you, most of the people on my list are from Kindle Unlimited. Um, I'm going to do my best to try to link all the books below and where I read them. Um, so yes. Yeah, so until next time, I appreciate you. I really, 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 really hope you decide to take a part of this readathon, uh, take part in this readathon and know that you're welcome. We want you to, you know, experience us as as uh as authors these black authors and we want you to see the the full range of the black experience through romance so until next time you know what your girl's about to say first of all i want to say whoever did my hair did a great job and, <laughs> and until next time bye <laughs>